Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's uplo upload is not going to be a uh, analog video or anything like that. It's just going to be an episode or a video on the long range outlook. And <clears throat> on the July Arctic Blast, uh, <clears throat> a continuation of that video at least. Or of this whole series. First and foremost though, Happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, I know that I think 98% of my viewers are American, so happy 4th of July to you all. Uh, as I'm recording this, it is 1.21 uh, p.m. Central Time, 7 4 2019. So happy 4th of July, and uh, if you're feeling, uh, you know, willing and patriotic, <laughs> you can subscribe to this channel. Uh, it is... It's free and it's a red button and that is indicating you're not subscribed. So click on that button if you want to get no more notifications about whether an upcoming fall, winter, and spring. And throughout the whole year round, I provide weather videos. So thank you for considering that. Um, let's look at some of the weather anomalies. So right now we are stuck in a war much warmer phase. Excuse me on that. Okay, wanted to move that forward. And uh, let's go to our zero zero. Let's see what uh, what we have to say right here. So guys, uh, sorry for that interruption. Uh, the Wi-Fi just went out. Uh, that's continuous problem here. Well, 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 whatever. So I apologize about the interruption, but <clears throat> what we were talking about is the weather anomalies and how they are getting uh, going to be getting on a chillier side, or basically they're going to be falling below average in the next coming days and if we look at this right now we are in a warmer phase which i was saying earlier but uh notice how this weekend it's already going to start getting cooler across the north northwest montana south dakota north dakota wyoming idaho parts of oregon and washington and nevada and as we move on during the night it's not as big of an anomaly difference, <clears throat> not as big of an anomaly difference for, uh, you can see during the nights it's less and it looks more uh, of a warmer pattern, but during the days, I mean, it gets pretty uh, drastically different. So if your average is say 90, your average during the day may now be 80s instead of 100 if this was flipped on the other side of the anomaly scale. You can see Saturday just doesn't really move until Sunday finally moves out. You can see now into the Midwest. Now states like Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio are all starting to feel a little bit of the chill. However, during the day on nights, the morning hours where it's the coolest, you could see not that much of a difference. But during the days, it really, um, it really amplifies the difference. So... If we were to look right now at uh, <clears throat> this pattern, we see that this first wave that came across this weekend kind of fizzles out and dies off. Um, not too strong. You can see even during the daytime, it uh, fizzles more into a uh, more neutral pattern. However, we see another wave coming from the north, and you can see... <gasps> Sorry about that. Um, the last time I got a comment, I did that on accident. Um, that was, you know, a, a, it was my Tourette's, and uh, people were getting mad at me for belching, and they were calling me names, so I was like, okay, that's kind of ridiculous, but whatever, you know, people are, people are weird and rude. So, you could see that uh, this was, uh, this was a wave that's coming out of Canada, and the northern, north, uh, northern plains, and this moves uh, you can see during the night, not as much as it seems as it would be during the day. But again, it weakens as by the time it gets to the Midwest and Great Lakes. It's not as strong of an anomaly as it was earlier up in the Montana area. Um, and you know, this may not seem like a cold pattern, but it's it's there. And you can see it finally settles in. And this is July 15th, 14th, halfway through July. We start seeing these anomalies of negative 8, negative 12, negative 10 degrees, uh, you know, of negative 10 degrees below average. Which isn't too annoying, especially in the summer. But if this was in the winter, you know that would be that would be significant. And you could see that this this area expands and kind of just sits there. Now it's kind of stuck from warm by the warm air from the <clears throat> warm air from the the east and warm air from the west. And you could see that as we go on into forward, 
throughout the next um, July 15th, 16th, 17th, I mean, just stays there for quite a good while, and then maybe it starts, you know, dwindling, as we as we say it, um, but still, nothing too extraordinary uh, warm at all, other than for the west and for the east, but as of now, cooler weather for sure is coming, and even the east, you can see the east is going to be also cooler, it's mainly just the west and parts of the south where, er, where that are going to be a little bit warmer than average, quite a bit actually, the northwest, but otherwise, I mean, if you were to look at some of these temperatures, two meter temperature shaded, uh, during the night, it gets pretty chilly, and you know many people would like that. You could finally open up your windows. You could finally get a little breath of fresh air into the house without uh, the AC blowing constantly. Because when it's 80, 90 degrees and it's humid, I mean you can't really open up the windows without being without it being a, you know a, a oven inside your house. So you could look at that. This is okay. So granted, this is far out. And usually the models go, you know, either one way or another where it's too hot, too cold. But um, I think that definitely 50s during the night in some areas across the northeast and plains and plains will definitely be likely because this air mass again will be bringing 10 to 15 degrees below average. Uh, you know, and even, even, uh, it's, I mean, it, it's not supposed to be the 80, I mean, the average here during the day is 80, so, uh, usually the temperatures fall to around 70, uh, during, uh, during the night here, maybe a little bit cooler, 65, so when there's 50s, that's not like extraordinary cold, I mean, that's what usually does happen, especially if there's a good br breeze off the lake, but you can see the days are still gonna be pleasant, 70s, um, just a little bit warmer across the west, quite a bit warmer across the west and maybe the south, but otherwise it seems, uh, fairly chilly, and, uh, you know, the heat will definitely probably make a comeback several more times throughout the summer, but it's just that for as of now, it seems like the, at least the first portion of July, the first half of July, um, or the, f the middle half of July, I don't know how to say it, like the first couple of days, excluding those days, the first week, it should be fairly chilly. You could see uh, before the 10th of July, I would say, or this weekend, I would rather uh, start saying that that's when it's going to start, so... Uh, the tenth is a little bit uh, or too late, but before that, I mean, the today's Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, pretty warm for most areas or around average, other than the North Dakotas or the Dakotas, Minnesota, M Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska, those areas. And for some reason, this is not loading, and this is getting a little bit frustrating. But uh, hopefully, we could just go through this. God, this is okay. So as you can see, that throughout some of these, uh, uh, throughout some of these nights, we will be seeing not, uh, not, you know, not not cold. I mean, you can see during the days it's pretty warm. That's just the main thing. Even though I called it an Arctic blast in July, um, it's just kind of for the fun of it. Also to emphasize that this it will be chilly. It may not be as chilly as you think it is. Um, uh, you know, or you may you may think it's not as chilly as it actually is because it's July, and usually when it's uh, when it's cold or below average, you only get then comfortable temperatures. Because if it's even slightly above average, you get into the uncomfortable zone. Let's go to the two meter temperature anomaly for this, and you'll notice how there's probably going to be a huge mass of cold air right here, and just based on the two meter temperature shaded. And yes, you could see there is uh, blues and purples. So, uh, if you want me to show you some ensembles, this is the GEFS, and basically ensembles are... <coughs> Sorry about that, I sneezed. And these are basically uh, whole groups of models that are combined together into forming of one map. So this isn't just like one GFS, this is like the whole family of GFSs, which is like 20 models. So it's, you know, it's a little bit more accurate. Let's see if we could go to like... Okay, I do apologize. This is definitely a little bit annoying. You can't, uh, I, the Wi-Fi is really poor here. But, uh, if we were, god dang it, come on. So right now we're at hour 144, and this is only when the cooler air starts really coming. You can see the cooler air across the northern parts of the country, and it spreads slowly, not as vigorously, though, through the, uh, through the plains and Midwest, towards the east. Notice how it's not bad across the northwest at all actually fairly warm and then uh, notice how uh, for the next couple of days it, it just gets a little bit more uh, cooler and cooler we go out even further and just stays the cool weather stays across the plains across the Midwest so this seems like a fairly recurring pattern across July which again if you watched my other videos may be a reason as to why this winter may be cold and chilly uh, because this July is cold and there's a lot of there's a lot of connection between that which maybe sounds surprising but 
don't worry as we go out further and further out it seems as if the cool air may um, dwindle but that also is you know a questionable I mean look you can see this is Friday July 19th still below average and this, that is a whole ensemble that's not just one model so uh, thank you guys for watching um, consider subscribing consider liking the video uh, you know it's my pleasure to make these videos for you and I will catch you all guys on the next episode see ya Bye.